Welcome to Harper Valley Farm, where we started with a one acre property with just a couple of goats and learning to be self-sufficient. But with all our ups and downs, we are now back at our family farm, or shall I say, my parents' property, where we have doubled in size with our sheep and goats and everything else, where we are learning to homestead and be more self-sufficient. Follow us as we document our real and raw homesteading journey. Well, hello again from Harper Valley Farm. Today is a very hot day, but I thought I'd give you a quick update on Maple's babies. So here's one. Here's the other. They are extremely friendly because the first couple days I did have to help mommy, but she is taking them now. But I think today, this lady, Tada, she's in labor. And she's acting very, very well. <laughs> Okay, so she was acting very warm and it was like 34 degrees out today, so we put her in the shop. She's a very shy girl. And now she's starting to push. We are almost there. And girly, and you're big, so we'll see what happens, huh? There we go. I got this for your baby, okay? Okay. So, so you can go like this. Yeah, if I ever need it? Yeah. You got this one right here. Here we go. You got a nose. Okay, all right, girly. There we go. Holy macaroni, this thing is tiny. I don't think I've ever seen such a tiny itty bitty baby. Another coming right away. Yeah. Holy, oh my goodness, these things are tiny. <laughs> How tiny are these things? Tell you in perspective, here's my hand. That's how tiny these ones are. This is not good. So I somehow managed to revive this one back. It's still really not doing well. And this one's still not doing well either. It's itty bitty. I dried them off with a towel and a hair dryer. Let's see how they do. <laughs> this thing is so small that this is a regular hair dryer. It's smaller than the hair dryer. It's, it's just insane. I've never had a baby this small before. So it has been a couple days since Tada's babies were born. So we had a heck of a time with both of the little girls. I pulled them, I brought them inside, I warmed them up and did what I could. It's been two days and they are finally standing. I don't mind Andrew in the background, he's being a turd right now. <laughs> You're being a weirdo. <laughs> this is going on YouTube. <laughs> Anyways. So we have the smallest one here who's still extremely tiny, but she's lively and she wants a bottle. She does have contracted tendons on her front legs. I was kind of expecting that to happen with her because she was so weak for about two days. She didn't stand. 
so she's doing much better with the support and she is starting to walk without them now so that is great and then the other one is running around what are you doing she is doing fantastic this little lady <laughs> They both really want their food right now. Huh? I know. So she's doing fantastic. She actually stopped breathing on us twice. She was the first one born and she had a really rough go of it. But now she is spunky and happy and doing fantastic. So that is great. And she's doing good as well. Here's the hoping, right? Yeah. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, right? <laughs> When the river is calling, I said I love you.